Well, hello and good afternoon. I'm Frost PDP. Thank you for joining me as we play Crusader Kings 2, the historical immersion project, also known as the Hip Emperor. We are still Baselli's Leon the Sixth, and one thing I noticed, which is kind of cool, is that Corsican Sardinia formed. That's right, Sarah is still at it, causing us headaches. Okay, so we have our son in prison because he decided to do something as foolish as, you know, have a revolt. And we are revoking his title because I want that land, except I don't have the stewardship to hold it anymore. And then we will, I guess we could just save a lot of money. Eh. Release him from prison. He's an idiot. He lost the war. He's never going to hold another title again. And he can just sit there and spin for a while. And we will also... Does his wife have a lot of money? No. We will release her from prison too. Just because I don't want to deal with them. Um, we had our... Daughter-in-law... Our, our half-sister, I'm sorry. Marry this fine gentleman. Because... Yeah. Except I can't grant her title. Now that it's matrilineal, mat well, that's unfortunate. I guess the title would just pass down to me anyway, wouldn't it? Right? Yeah, it would just pass down to me anyway, because if they have children, then they're of my dynasty. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, you can have it. Stupid, uh, men's rights laws. One thing I am a big fan of. If Crusader Kings 2 gets another major, major update, or in Crusader Kings 3, is that a female ruler should be able to, as long as she doesn't have a liege lord, I guess, should be able to implement at least one step towards cognatic, however you say that. Either, you know, going... Not necessarily going to women first, although that could be interesting too. Imagine, in like, for example... This lady who might have a female heir, who might then say, you know what, women are in charge now. That could be an interesting gameplay mechanic too. Well, we'll see. In the meantime, we are fighting off yet another Muslim invasion, because why not? As we are fighting another civil war, which apparently just got a whole bunch of men out of nowhere. Alright. This is a problem. At least a slight problem. No, we'll figure that out. Because now these 800 men that I left alive sort of matter. Alright. Let's let some time run, see what happens. The worst that could happen is we could all die. And that looks like it's exactly what's going to happen. He's not getting there in time, so I'm going to have to cut off. How is that even a thing? Gotta be going this... Really? Well, I guess we're losing this war. Um, what's our territory? As irksome as this is that it happened. Desert, of course. This is mountains. Can we get to the mountains in time? May 5th. April 24th. No, we can't. Can we reinforce? No, we can't. So, that leaves our option to be... Come up with a desert leader. <laughs> I could send my son that hates me out to try not to die. I'm not even sure what narrow flank means, but... Put you in charge of here. I do not want an experimental leader at this particular moment. Look how that's in a, like almost an oasis, and yet it's not. Desert expert. Center. And odds are we're going to lose, but it's a start. And they're fighting some sort of civil war. All in all, this situation is pretty not good. Not good at all. 
Is there anywhere that's really low on troops that I might be able to sneak a siege in? Nope, that ain't gonna happen. So, being as we are short exactly one boat, of course, we're gonna keep our sieges up just to keep pressure on them. And we're gonna watch this fight and we're gonna hope we win. Because that's all we really can do. Um, they have terrible military leaders. That's leading to terrible tactical decisions. There's a chance. I didn't think there was that good of a chance, but there's a chance. And now there's 8,000 Muslims bearing down on us that we can't really oppose anytime soon. But we won. Alexandretta. That's this little tiny thing that can never be found on a map. Deliver another beating. Hopefully the war score goes up as high as we need it to, and we can send all the troops down in the world to crush our enemies. It's probably another... Oh, this is a half-brother. Nope, didn't end it yet. I tell you, and I... Whatever. Go, have fun. So many prisoners. Ravendale. I know what it sounds like, but it's not. Oh, girl, you are in the wrong world. Okay, so we've cleaned that up. And now we have Vikings, too. Just to top it all off, you know? So I'm going to lay another siege down on this folk. Some of our own should start turning over any minute now. I know, I actually did that. Well, rookie mistake, so to speak. You know what? Normally I wouldn't do this, but I will. Just because that's a pretty high sounding title of Commissa. And I'm in a prisoner taking mood at the moment, and they are rebels. And we have 100%. Enforce demands. Manuel goes away. And now we can... One more time, I'll... Raise it. I love that. Just silly. Alright. So I need a good staging area that's also not immediately going to get wiped off the map because I have the manpower to win this war but I don't necessarily have so Rivendell Rivendell sounds fun and now we are fighting raiders that'll hold them here at least even if they're all going to die one child lacks a guardian it is my niece Oops, keep clicking the wrong side of that. I feel like that's been changed. And now everyone's at 100 opinion. Really? You think? Could it possibly be because I just crushed an enemy in a war? Every notable vassal I have is at 100 opinion. Oh, nope, this guy isn't. No, we're not doing that. So, one more time. Who needs educating? You. Educate. If that's the case, I'm just going to go with, um... I've got the high stewardship. I have an unlanded son. I couldn't care less about him. He's lucky he's breathing. <laughs> I could just imprison him. I could try that whole imprison everybody thing. Hey, Manuel is back. Hey, guess where you're going? Oh, no, I guess not. Would have been fun. Could try Pashangs. I'm going to send him to the front lines for a reason. I want him to make sure that territory stays as ours as we can. 
And hey, we are actually... He's defending against the Duke of Raguia. And the Duke of Raguia is doing really well. Alright, good. You can stand down because you're not helpful. You guys are going to hopefully kill some bad guys. And finally we have our armies unifying up again and not completely dead. Our something has died. Our chief diplomat. Oh, that's nice. Go. What do I want you to do? Do I want you to fabricate a claim on anyone? Do I really need fabricated claims? No. I lost the Vikings. And then I just charged in with more men. Just stand down, you guys are useless. I want to improve diplomatic relations with... No, I do want to fabricate claims. I want to fabricate a claim on Telescum. Because I want an excuse to go to war with Rome. Because I'm crazy. So we're losing some sieges. It looks worse than it is. Unless he comes straight for my army. In which case, it's much worse than it is. Or rather, exactly as bad as it seems. Yep, I want to play a little chicken right now. Following adult sons do not hold any land. Well, you held it. I gave it to you. the armies uh, gather up go through the process of finding a suitable leadership for them so much for baiting him into letting me be the defender I do notice that my dukes are becoming double dukes that could be problematic in the future. So, you are aggressive. Good. I am not really interested in being in this fight. I thought for sure I had a guy who was a uh, holy warrior. Huh. That is unfortunate. We will probably be fighting in desert again, so that's not helpful. Mm -hmm. So we got pretty good heavy infantry numbers on this flank. Do we have a heavy infantry leader in charge? Oh yes, perfect. And we have, I don't want unpredictable. Well, you have the second highest rating in my empire, so you get it. And you guys are in charge, and you guys can go. Have fun. He's actually going to take the fight. That's actually sort of brave. Now, this kid, it especially matters what skills he gets. He is my heir. And so where are you? You might be forbidden from leading troops. So, go. This is the big one, kind of. Oh, he's running. He's not getting away, though. He's actually getting crushed. Okay, now it's very important to see where he runs to. 
Berzesh. Well, Berzesh we go. And now... Oh, he's suffering attrition. Oh, he might not have the tech to survive that. It'd be a shame if I turned on Wallachian now. You just accept the white piece and go away? No. That would be smart. Um, far more than 10 to 1. Some money, we could use that. Oh, we can just besiege his main territory. That's awesome. Or one of them, anyway. Will he give up now? No. Hmm. What do you think? Should I carpet siege? He's sort of cut off from getting reinforcements. Okay. Nah, I'll let him here. I can actually test this. Okay, so they can get there. I'm just assuming the attrition is stupendously heavy. I'm not running that big a deficit, and I don't even have the Rangians raised. It's pretty decent, really. Oh, you guys are cute. Yeah, okay. Lay that siege. Have fun. Now the question... Oh... Well, did you look at that? I could decide it would be fun to just crush him by moving this guy over. But I don't want this fight. I don't really want this war. I have too many things I have to take care of. And frankly, my empire is war exhausted. And this stupid conflict. But I suppose I should reinforce just in case he decides not to. Uh... Diplomatically explain why I cannot. So, I would have won that battle, but... And now I'm going to suffer stupendous attrition. Isn't that great? Okay, finally, finally, we are at peace. And you know what that means. I get to do all of the empire management stuff that happens between videos. On that note, thanks for watching. La Paz.